असलम माई YouTube फैमिली वेलकम टू गुल नॉलेज हब वेलकम टू अ न्यू डे विद अ न्यू टॉपिक टूडेज टॉपिक इज़ वेरी इंफॉर्मेटिव बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माई इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज जर्नी हाउ डिड आई बिकेम फ्लूंट इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज हाउ डिड आई ट्रैवल फ्राम ज़ीरो टू फ्लुएंसी बट बिफोर डिस्कसिंग एनी डिटेल एनी चैलेंजेस एनी मोटिवेशन आई जस्ट keep you remind this thing that this is not the traditional video i am not going to talk about that see cartoons in english or see movies or watch movies in english i am not going to ask you to have podcast news cast or any other youtube videos or any use of any technological advancement no i am not going to talk about all these things because when i learned english there was no internet available to me so i am going to share my own experience and this experience will be beneficial for you if you don't have the facility of internet if you can't approach to cartoons in english if you can't approach to movies in english if you have no time to watch movies to watch podcast then how can you learn english i am going to share my own challenges which kind of challenges i faced during my english journey and how i tackled them and how i became motivated through all this journey because what i am today is the product of all the years i didn't became fluent in english overnight no dear audience first of all keep this thing in your mind that english language are learning a any language any language you you can talk about german english dutch french any language of the world if you want to learn keep this thing in your mind that it is a lifelong process it takes time it doesn't happen overnight that once you are sleep are sleep and when you wake up you are fluent in english no dear audience it doesn't happen it can't happen like this and now we are talk we are going to talk about how i became fluent in english i would discuss my zero to fluency journey first of all you will be quite astonished and amazed to know that english was introduced to my session at 5th grade yes dear audience before 5th grade there was no concept of english there was no concept of english but at the grade 6 within just 5 years as a student i became so much fluent in english that i was able to write summaries on my own in my own words i can create essay i could create essay i could create different kinds of paragraphs in my own words so how did that how did that happen and there was no facility of internet for me at that time i can't approach to english movies i i could not approach to cartoons i could not approach to podcast or any technology at that time then how i became fluent how i became so much fluent that i could write essay i could write short story i could write any paragraph on any topic at that time in so short time i would discuss all these things be patient because this is very realistic journey of a student of a student from zero to fluency towards gold medalist towards editor of college magazine number i am going to share all this in this video so before any further ado let's get into the video first of all what i have in my hand no technology no cartoons no movies no advancement no internet no mobile nothing at in my hand i was only in my hand book of my syllabus textbook or the key book two things were available to me at that time dear audience two things were available to me at that time and those were one was textbook and the other was key book of that textbook but but dear audience 
I want you to realize that you can achieve your target of speaking English. You can achieve your target of fluency of English language just by two books of your syllabus, of your textbook and the key book. How? First of all, you should be passionate. You should be desirous. You should have a fire in your heart to do something. If you can ignite a fire in your heart, you can conquer anything through such a small medium. Today we are talking. We are talking about that. Do you should watch movies? You should watch cartoons. You should do this. You should do that. You should watch TED talks. You should watch news for uh, news news. And all there such things. You should join online classes. Find the partners, and you should uh, have group discussions. Only then you can be a fluent English speaker. But think, just imagine, just imagine and visualize a person having two things in her hand, and how she became so much fluent that she can create essays, short stories, paragraphs on. many pages not on single page how did it happen how her imagination became fertile because this is the power of imagination how i sharpened my imagination and how i sharpened my imagination to use english as a tool to express my ideas yes dear audience this is not the traditional video i am not going to share any traditional thing this is the thing of imagination if you have strong imagination and you have sharpened it in english you can easily write read speak english and you will have confidence because this is the power of imagination and how can you train your imagination in english this is the question of today this is not the language of english journey this is not the question of english language discuss about with two things textbook and a key book how i became fluent in english let's talk about this dear audience just keep this thing in your mind that you have only two weapons and with these two weapon you have to win the battle of english language you have to win this game of english language you have to change your game of fluency yes dear audience this is not a ordinary video this is a motivational video for all those speakers for all those learners who have all the tools and still they are having excuses that we don't have time you have enough time you have enough resources but if you don't have resources if you can't utilize your resources because we have so many distractions while using internet we have so many distractions but i am going to cut off all the distraction just switch off your mobile just switch off your mobile phone and focus on the textbook and the key book and you have all the solutions in your hand your imagination power will be stronger your imagination power will be sharpened enough no talk about how is it possible now for example i used to read one lesson i used to read one lesson but how i how i used to read that lesson i used to read that lesson as if i have to imbibe i have to grasp and understand each and every point of that lesson for example first word is noun what is the meaning of that word and how it is used i would have a knowledge of grammar at that time that now it is a noun and the meaning of this word is this and each and every word with its meaning i used to remember i used to learn and then i used to learn the questions and answers and i used to keep in focus the use of tense which tense was used in the textbook i was very i was very curious to know whether it is present definite whether it is past indefinite whether it is present perfect tense you have to burn your midnight oil for short time then only then don't 
put forward the lame excuses it's not the solution that you are just watching the cartoons you are just watching the movies you are just watching a video on how to learn english language how to be fluent in english language and you are fluent in english language sorry to say if i am hurting many of the english learners this approach is very wrong you have to do an extra effort to be at this stage to speak english fluently how it can be possible it can be possible that you have to read the textbook you have to read the textbook with the meanings with the grammar how this word is used whether it is noun whether it is pronoun whether it is adjective what is the relation of these words and now each and every point of this word after you have to learn after you can learn question answers and be the keen observer which which tense is being used in these question answers because this is very much important after doing this exercise to two to three chapters only after applying this unique exercise to two to three chapters or five chapters only you will you can be in the position to formulate to structure sentence in your own words because you are not cramming the text you are not just going through the text you are not just memorizing the questions for memorization for passing the exam no you are doing an extra step the next step which i followed very much in my whole life was observation because i have nothing more than but i was passionate to learn english i used to observe my teachers how they speak how they speak while having a reading textbook what kind of accent they were using i was not concerned i was not curious about the accent but i was concerned about the correct pronunciation of that word that was important for me and i was a keen observer of all the teachers and my best teacher was sir amar bin adal who inspired me because when he used to teach us there was there was a skill there was a voice magic voice in his words when he used and when he started his lecture we was still and we were just moving with his words we were just traveling with his words this was the para and i wanted to use that method in my lectures i copied and i imitated that very much and it helped me a lot next thing which i used a lot was solving the key book exercises yes dear audience i was so passionate that i used to translate all the exercises from urdu to english this was my habit this was my passion i kept on translating from urdu to english from all exercises can you imagine i was that passionate and what it helped me it helped me a lot because i used vocabulary i gathered vocabulary i gathered sentence structures different kinds of present indefinite past indefinite future indefinite i was using all that and by solving the different exercises on grammar by doing all this i became so much fluent that i desired my teacher asked me to do masters in english because you have good command on self writing creativity that was the that those were the remarks of my teacher at that time and i did my masters in english with quite distinctive position because of that i became college magazine ambers editor this was my journey i and i want you to realize that you can do everything you should have passion you can surpass you can control you can overcome all the challenges which are in your way because without challenges there is no gain without challenges there is no success 
विदाउट पेन यू कॉन्ट अचीव योर टारगेट हाउ कैन यू अचीव योर टारगेट दिस इज अ मोटिवेशनल वीडियो दिस इज माई इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज लर्निंग वीडियो हाउ डिड आई लर्न अ इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज एंड हाउ कैन यू लर्न इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज विदाउट द टेक्नोलॉजी विदाउट एडवांसमेंट विदाउट यूजिंग इंटरनेट एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग योर टाइम एंड एनर्जी just put your effort in the right way so that you can save your time and you can save yourself from distractions this is the advice of today my humble advice till the next video stay happy stay blessed thank you so much have a nice day